Hi, Hannah. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. It's nice to meet you, like, face you to too. face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for those of you that haven't been on a live before, I'm Hannah. I'm the marketing manager for Clicks Talent. And why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? And I'm Kaisen. I'm one of their talents. <laughs> An awesome one at that. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about how you got started on TikTok. Um, how I got started on TikTok, um, I actually started when it was still Musical.ly. Oh, wow. Uh, very briefly, though. It wasn't really my vibe. I didn't like how you had to have an audio in the background. Mm. Um, so I quickly got it, and then I just put it on the side because I was like, I don't enjoy it. Once I heard it changed, I was like, oh, it's still the same old musically you know that's what i thought but after a couple months i was like you know what let me just try it out and then i found out you could do original sounds and they would actually like do good because at first if you did anything original like not it would not be promoted oh interesting um, and i quickly fell in love with it it only took like i think two weeks before i was like literally addicted every day oh <laughs> and when was that that was um march of 2019 oh my so pretty quickly then yeah. So when did you uh, start noticing that you were getting bigger? Um, pretty quickly, actually. I started like early March and I believe it was like March, I'm going to say like 18th or so. I made like a Save the Turtle kind of like comedy video and that's what actually started it. And I got like over half a million likes and I was like, wow, like, is this like what it feels like to be famous, you know? <laughs> yeah. And Obviously, it was really exciting, and I definitely liked it. So I was like, oh, let me keep making more videos. And I kept, like, trying to think of more ridiculous things to do to go viral. Like, my whole mindset every day was like, what can I do to go viral today? Good mindset. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, like, your first viral video then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. The end of it, it was definitely exciting. <laughs> and then when did you hit 3 million followers? When I hit 3 million, I believe it was 2020. I'm thinking, I would say January 2020 is when okay. I hit. Mm -hmm. So before all the craziness began. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did it feel like to just wake up one day and you're like, there it is, three million. It it was interesting. Like, um, for some reason, one million, I think it's just because that number, I never thought I would ever like hit that number. That was way more like exciting for me to hit. Yeah, that makes three. sense. Um, so one million, I was so stoked. Of course, I was stoked about three million too, but like, for the 1 million, I was refreshing the page. Like, oh my gosh, I need a followers. <laughs> yeah. Nine followers, five more followers. Um, with 3 million, it actually happened so quick that I couldn't even, like, anticipate it. Which wow. is... Wow, yeah. It was, like, very interesting. It was happening really quickly at that point. So from, like, 1 million to 3 million, it was, like, just like that? Yeah, like, two months. Oh, wow. That's yeah. 2 million in two months. That is... Yeah, it was pretty great. Quite, quite the growth. <laughs> mm-hmm. So when did you get started with us uh, with clicks? Oh, I actually don't even know the dates. I think I officially um, signed. Uh, I'm going to say. I think it was like a November 2019. Okay. Yeah. So before so, I got big, so clicks saw me well before I was doing well. And <laughs> they that's beautiful. Their <laughs> <laughs> and I was not there for that, but that is so cool to see how clicks has been with you through that process um so your really popular videos right now are the cups <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah what inspired the cups um I did that as a kid so it was okay. something I did already um I never thought of like filming that because it was like something I commonly did enough that it wasn't like oh I think people would find this funny um but one day I decided hey let me post it and the video actually did horrible I think I oh. like likes and I was like oh I guess TikTok doesn't find it funny that's okay um and it took me about two three months after that I was like I'm gonna try it again I think it'll do better this time so I made another video and that was my first video to actually hit a million likes and oh, wow. oh my gosh like it's possible I used to think like it's impossible to hit a million um and then quickly after that I posted another one just adding new things to carry adding new characters and Every post got at least a million likes, which is insane for like a whole, I think two weeks, it was like every single one. And it led up to the milk one, which my, <laughs> the ones that actually thought of that, they're the ones that like said like, you should follow, you should follow the jug of milk. And I was like, uh-uh, like that's like a mess, you know? Yeah. 
Um, but I decided like, you know what, let me go to the store, let me buy one. And I got a jug of milk and made that video. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Wow. I love that callback to like, just a random thing you did as a child. And then you're bringing it to like a viral video now. I love that. Pretty exciting. I didn't think yeah. it would happen. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's not something that, you know, you're going to learn in school or something that are like, okay, yeah. bring this How to go viral. childhood thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, um, does it hurt to fall like that? I'm going to say 99% of the time it does not hurt. Wow. So yeah. Maybe you should go into like stunt acting or something. I've been hikey thinking about it actually. Because I, seriously, that looks painful. It it doesn't. My motto is if you're scared to fall, that's when you get hurt. That totally so makes sense. Don't be scared to fall because there is a time I ran, I accidentally ran into my front door um, screen window. Mm -hmm. um, not the screen, sorry. The glass window, oh. like the glass door, because it was really dirty almost my entire childhood. And one time my mom cleaned it and I thought, <laughs> the one time. Oh, open. And I ran straight into that thing and like, my nose print, my forehead print was on the door because oh. I hit it so hard. Yeah. And it hurt. And that's when I was like, oh, if you don't, aren't expecting it to hurt, then it's not going to hurt. Like if you're like just. Yeah. And so that's what I decided to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, I mean, I don't, I guess I'm just too afraid because I feel like every time I fall, it hurts really bad. <laughs> there isn't a couple times. And the two times I got hurt, I was actually scared I was going to get hurt. Like, I was carrying a canoe one time. I was like, this is going to hurt. And then I fell on it. It hurt. And yeah. it hurt really bad. Well, that's the secret. Just have that mindset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, what other, what else do you do for, like, your creative process to come up with, like, those crazy ideas? Um, Pretty much as long as, like, I can laugh about it, then I want to do it when it comes to my shoes. Like, if I would find it funny, then that's kind of what drives me. Like, mm -hmm. when I think of idea, I'm like, oh, that'd be funny for me to see then I want to make it. And that's what I end up doing normally. Yeah. Um, I, I try making videos for like, to go viral for like trends and stuff. And I'm like, I don't enjoy it. And it never, it just wasn't what I enjoyed. So I try to make videos only when I think it's funny. And then I enjoy it a lot more. I love that. That's awesome. Because yeah, it's at the end of the day as a creator, like you can't just be doing everything for everyone else. You mm -hmm. have to find something that's like that's actually enjoy, enjoyable for you. Um, so besides the cups, like what's your favorite videos to create, create? Um, the other ones I really liked were like, I was like a sh little kid chef. I don't know if you mm -hmm. saw that. Trend. Yes. That was my favorite I one. <laughs> love that. I yeah. love the, making those videos. Um, sadly with my braces, I'm like, I'm too scared to like shove things in my mouth. Cause I don't want to break them. Yeah. So I haven't been making any of those, but I definitely want to like make them again. Yeah. Uh, they're so funny and totally realistic <laughs> and that was like a trend that I actually was like oh I'm excited to hop on this trend and I did it you know so I yeah. also friends with it's like if I find it funny yeah totally I have a toddler son so I can attest oh that. yeah totally totally true <laughs> <laughs> and it made me die laughing like I, that's why I reposted it uh was it last week yeah the toddler one so <laughs> funny I love those um so you're mainly on TikTok right now yeah mm-hmm I'm thinking yeah. about like brought it, um, branching out to like start YouTube again. I did that um, back, I'm gonna say, I think it was like 2016. Hmm. Um, I did it for a whole year and it just took a lot of time, too much time for what I could give. Like I was working full time yeah. doing YouTube was actually like so much work. Um, so I definitely wanna do that again. I will probably be like a little more different. I don't think I'm gonna do like my classic, excuse me, falling videos. I want to do like furniture flipping, um, oh, cool. but still with like a comedy, like influenced in the video. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and YouTube is uh, like a totally different beast, but it is worth it when you uh, put in the effort. I think because yeah. okay. I go to a lot of people YouTube's channels um, from their TikTok. Oh, that's cool. So it's like back and forth is. Mm -hmm. And really a big helpful. I like learn is you get to believe in yourself and like what you're doing for it to like do better i definitely believe that and so with youtube i could tell like i was definitely like getting drained and it wasn't like fulfilling enough because it was like so much work for such a little outcome and so if i'm not like putting if i can't put it all in then put it somewhere else i could and that's why i went to i was on youtube and i went to tiktok because i was like oh i can actually put my all in this and that's yeah. why I, I love that that's great advice for other people too 
Um, what's your favorite thing about having 3 million followers being noticed? Insta famous, TikTok famous. What's your favorite thing about that? <laughs> <laughs> The comments that like just say that they made I made their day like I love that I also love looking at the shares um obviously I appreciate the likes and the comments um but looking at the shares it's like oh that's so cool they thought like they want to show someone this like I do love that the most I think is the shares because it's awesome. like yeah I just like that and what's what do you think is the hardest part of it um I think it's more mental health I think it's literally up to you that's the yeah. hardest part it's limiting how much time you spend on social media. I definitely had a rough spot in 2020 and it could have been because of everything because I just was like, couldn't do anything. So it was like really difficult for me to like be creative if you were locked up in your room. Yeah. Um, so I had a really hard time last year with like just creating in general and just like my own mental battles. Um, but other than that, hate comments actually hurt me being a little too much. Um, I almost like blocked every single word you can think of that could be in a hate comment on my yeah. TikTok. So I was like, at first I was like, oh, comment to comment. I'm happy to have a comment because it like makes the video do better. But after a while I was like, no more. Like I got to start. Yeah, it's from not worth it. But yeah, I was like, cut these out, cut these out. So I have a lot of those. <laughs> and there's always going to be the haters, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And it totally, it cuts you deep, unfortunately. Yeah, it's sad. Like, it is sad. First, I, oh, nothing can hurt me, you know. I have yeah. to I think I did. It just got a lot thinner throughout the years. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like once there's like a certain amount of people doing it over and over again, it's got to hurt mm -hmm. something. Like I made a video on that. Um, I don't know if you know only JS. She does like the scientific facts. Okay. Um, so she posted on her Instagram story saying how like people think hate comments are like so like they shouldn't matter. But it's like, but I literally get millions. Yeah. And that's the number. Like that's the number we are literally receiving. Like I was getting... I made one video that I got hate on, like actual hate. It was my holla holla video. I don't know if you saw that one. I don't think I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Filipino culture like attacked me. Oh, and I'm okay. Filipino, that's my primarily, that's my yeah. primary, um, ethnicity. And so I was like, bro, like I wasn't trying to do anything wrong. Like, like lay off me. But I was getting like hundreds of thousand comments. Oh my gosh. Every like hour. And I like took off my comments on everything for a bit. Cause I was like, I can't handle it. I couldn't handle yeah. it. And it's like, and that was, a low version for me like there's my other friends that do social media but they get millions and it's like guys like they're people they can't I know. not meant to handle that much like so that's i do love social media but i definitely learned to like limit a lot of things that i take from social media now yes mm -hmm. yeah working in social media as well it's like you have to find that balance because it's an amazing resource you get to be creative and meet all these people but yeah i love yeah. How, um meeting people was awesome like oh my goodness I love your best let's meet out like I love that part of yeah. it it's such an amazing cool aspect um so then like based off what you've all learned um from like the past you know three million followers the hate comments you know everything you learned what would you tell yourself from the beginning of this whole journey of TikTok from the very beginning I think I would have told myself to stick true to yourself and not try to be like the trends because I tried that I think that's what hurt me the most um just like mentally and like physically because I just at that point I was no longer making videos for my joy I was making videos for other people and then like if it didn't do well I was like oh then I'm not funny anymore I'm not what they want but it's like who cares it's what yeah. you want and so I think that's why I would tell my younger self it's just like focus on you because I think <laughs> my sister lets me know <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love that advice that you would give your younger self. Um, so what do you, uh, what would you want to tell those <sighs> creators and people that follow you? Because there's probably a lot of people who, you know, love you dearly. They love your content. They're really looking up to you. So what is like the number one piece of advice you'd give them as a creator? Um, I would say to don't let your social media be your dopamine. Um, I would say that that's really important and to only create when you want to create and only give what you can give. Uh, don't push yourself to produce a certain amount of videos a week or a day because that's what's best for the algorithm. Do what's best for you. Honestly, just everything that's best for you. Yes. I love that. Set the boundaries, make it mm -hmm. clear in your life. I love that so much. 
Um, okay, one last question. Right. And before that, thank you so much for talking with me today. It's so great to get to know you a little bit better. Um, what's been your favorite part of being part of Team Click? Um, I love how there's multiple people I can go to for help. Um, I definitely liked that took a load off me with like dealing with so many DMs. Like now, half the time I don't respond. So I'm like, if they actually care, they'll go to my email. Or I just say, hey, can you message this this email for me, please? And then they do it. And it's so much nicer for me. I think that took off a big stress load on me because when that video, my milk video was going viral, I was getting so many DMs. I couldn't even like read them all. I was like, I yeah. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't. But that was amazing having that. And uh, also just like um, how supportive you guys are. And like you guys just cheer me on. It's like, stop. <laughs> so that helped, like some rough days. Like, oh, like that was real nice, you know. So I like that about it too. I love that. I love that so much. Um, well, I am cheering you on all the, all the time. And I love seeing your videos. They're really funny and hilarious. Um, is there anything else uh, project-wise you want to plug or promote? Really quick. Um, um, probably YouTube. If you guys want to follow my YouTube, I will hopefully be hopping up to that and be making more videos. Okay, awesome. So then I'll grab that, uh, your URL from that and I'll add it in our comments when I post. Thank you. Live. That's the one good thing about having a unique, a unique name is that you can have that on like all platforms. <laughs> yes, it is so unique and it's such a cool name. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Of course. Thank you. Bye, Hannah. Yeah, bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'll post the replay in our feed. And if you have any questions for Kaisen, just comment below.